yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, tonight's tea is going to be yet another experiment. I'm doing a lot of experimenting lately, uh, rather than looking and uh, going through um, recipes, Slimming World recipes. I'm sort of adapting the food that I've got and do my own sort of recipes that I've sort of seen other people do and sort of changing them a little bit and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just what I've got really in my fridge and in my cupboards and I'm having a week of sort of doing that sort of thing, that style of um, tutorials and videos. So it sort of turns out as it turns out <laughs> a little bit. Um, so, yeah, you, you're... You know, what I get is what I get. I really don't know what I'm going to get at the end of it, whether it's going to be any good or not. So, tonight's tea, I have got some really lovely salmon that had been reduced. Um, and it was from the fish counter. And it was originally £5.50 and it was reduced to £2.50, something like that. I paid not a lot of money for it. So, we're going to have that tonight. Now I've got some spinach left over and I'm quite aware that my husband really doesn't like spinach so I'm trying to make ways so that he can enjoy spinach because I know it's got some really good properties in it you know and um, it is good for you you know. So we are going to have a bit of a different tea tonight. So I've got some already cooking in a pan here some cauliflower and I'm just now add that's been on for about six minutes and I'm just now adding some broccoli to the cauliflower because obviously broccoli doesn't take as long to cook as cauliflower and I'm cooking it so I'm trying to save our washing up because Jason moans that I create far too much washing up because he does the washing up in our house um, so I'm trying to think of you know Combining this together so that I don't have so much washing up created. We have got a dishwasher, but yes, to load it. So that's my veggies in there. So my broccoli and my cauliflower. In here, I've got some um, pasta in salted water cooking. Okay, so that's where we are so far. Not very inspiring, not very interesting, a little bit boring, a bit of pasta and some veg. Hopefully, that little bit of pasta and that veg is going to be turned into something sensational that you're all going to want to try and you're all going to love, I'm sure. Anyway, I'm losing the plot a little bit. It's getting nearly the weekend, isn't it? It's nearly gin time tomorrow, Friday night. I can have a gin. I've got my ice cubes still in the freezer that I made up with my little frozen berries. So I've got they mix it into like a pink gin. It's lovely. And my little frozen slices of lemon. And that makes you wee. That makes your gin stay cold for longer. Right. Let's turn this down. I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to cook off my pasta. Once that's cooked, I will then come back to you because this watching pasta cook is a bit like watching paint dry. I'll see you in a bit. I've just been watching, I'm a bit mad. I am. Bloody angry I am. It's blimmin' week of people being bitchy on bloody Instagram and YouTube. Quite frankly, I've had enough of it. I'm sick to death of bloody hearing it. These people, who the hell do they think they are upsetting people like that? You know, from behind their keyboards. They think they've got the right to abuse people verbally you know on the internet yeah you could say well you put yourself out there you put yourself on youtube and instagram but yeah it's to help others that's why we put ourselves on here to help others you know to show people about our lives and where what we're doing and you know what you can do and how you can achieve it and we can do it together you know it's not about being bitchy and nasty. Honestly, I'm bloody fuming. I really am. That's twice now, last night and tonight. An Instagram, an Instagrammer who's got two, over 2,000 followers has had a really bitchy comment, you know, that is really unwarranted. 
Um, she's a lovely lady. She really is, and she's she sparkles all the way through. You know, she does videos, she does pictures, she does daily blogging. You know, she she really does, and it helps her to do it as well as helping others. And one sad individual person thinks they've got the right to be really bitchy. And it's like Sharon, um, my, my YouTube friend, you know, someone made a really, really detrimental, horrible comment on one of her videos. I mean, clearly they don't know Sharon, because quite frankly, I think she'd probably bop on one like I would. You know, would these people come up to us and say these things to our faces in the street? No, they bloody well wouldn't. I'm sorry, I don't normally spout off on my videos, and I'm normally really happy and cheery, you know, and I try to be really positive. But, I'm just going to say this, if you've got something nasty to say, then don't bloody bother, because why, quite frankly, we don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm not interested. Move on. Don't watch me. If you don't like me, don't watch me, quite frankly. And I expect Sharon thinks the same. You know? Get a life. Phew! Ha! Huh. I feel better now. Thank you for that. Oh, right. Anyway, back to tea. So, my veggies cooked. My pasta's cooked. I'm turning it off. <laughs> Maybe I should turn my video off. <laughs> Right, so, spray my frying pan, angrily and vigorously. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to bloody throttle some people, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Poor old Jace. <laughs> He's coming home in a minute to a miserable, angry wife. No, I'm fine. Right, so. I got it off my chest, I feel better now. But if you've got something negative to say, quite frankly, don't say it. I don't want to hear it, nor do the other people. Not interested, you know. Just move on, move on with your life. Like I am now. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna strain that veg quick because I don't want it to in that water going soggy. And I'm just gonna, it that on the side then I'm gonna I just opened up this fish and I've actually got four bits of fish here but if it swims it slims so we're gonna have two bits each because it's still not huge is it let's face it it's not masses so that's that and I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on there and a little bit of pepper if I can find it there it is on there and I'm just going to cook my fish through just be careful when you're cooking your fish that you don't overcook it and make it go dry sorry I'm not looking at you am I? I'm looking for there it is yeah you don't let it go dry um the best way I find when I'm cooking a piece of fish is I look at the size of the fish and once it's gone halfway up, the colour has gone more opaque, it's got a paler pink than this is now, then I'll flip it over and then it will cook down and meet the other side and that's how I do it. So I'm doing it skin side down and I'm leaving the skin on because I quite like that crispy skin on fish. I don't eat it, I just quite like it. I think it looks more attractive on the plate. So I'm going to cook my fish, then I'm going to turn it and then I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to finish this dish off. Right, so I'm just going to show you this now. Can you see where it's starting to go, a paler pink on the ends and it is starting, I'll show you, that bit's probably the best one. It's starting to creep up the sides and change colour. My skin is going lovely and crisp. And it will soon be time to flip it on over. I'm just going to give it a few more seconds. 
and then I'm going to flip those little fillets over. Right, so that's my fish done. I'm going to, got Smoky Joe in here. I'm going to take that out of the pan and I'm going to sit it on my board just to rest. while I finish the dish. So I've wiped out my frying pan and got out that sort of fishy residue and I'm just going to finish up by putting a little bit of oil in my pan and then I'm going to put in all of this and wilt it down. So in a big bowl, I've got a bowl here, I'm going to combine my veggies. So I've got my broccoli and my cauliflower in there. Oh god. Along with my pasta. I'm not going to put it all in because it's too much. And I'm just going to give that a little bit of a gentle stir around, like so. And my spinach is starting to wilt. I'm going to let that go a bit further, it's not quite enough. And then I'm going to add some quark to that. Whoop a daisy. <laughs> Here I go. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. It's running away with me. There we go. Got a little stir. And then I've got some mozzarella, which I'm just going to break up, and that's just half a low-fat mozzarella. That's optional. It's only because I got it needs eating up. There we go. And keep going. And what you've done is sort of created like a bit of a sauce. And then I've got some of my herbs, Provence. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that in. I've got a lemon. Not a lot, I'm just going to give it a little whoosh. I just got to shut this window. Oh, this is all my fish getting cold. So I've got my little bit of lemon in there. Looking good. And then I'm literally going to turn it off. I'm going to add this to the rest of my ingredients in the bowl. Like so. And I'm going to mix that through. Way too much food. Anyone wants to come round, you're more than welcome. North Devon. It's alright, I've calmed down. <laughs> I won't shout at you. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> so there we go. That's our pasta. Right, so I'm going to start plating up now. So I've got a couple of plates down. And what I have started doing, I've started using smaller plates. Rather than the big round ones, I've been using these square ones slightly smaller. So, let 
bits of plate up. So basically we're just going to get a nice big dollop of our pasta and veggies out of top. Like so. You've got that oozy cheese. You see that cheese? Oozy cheese, look. A nice big oozy piece of mozzarella. Nice. A little bit more in there. Some of the veggies. There we go. And then we're going to get our fish. that on the plate like so and wedge lemon and there you go tonight's tea looks quite hearty tasty interesting a little bit different so I hope you give this a little go I'll give it a little taste test for you Right, so a little bit of fish, which you can see is lovely and cooked through. It's nice and moist, and a little bit of spinach. Oh, there's a bit of mozzarella there. Right, excuse me. Oh. Oh. Lovely. Really tasty. The fish is really moist and, and juicy and tender. It's not dry at all. And um, the pasta's lovely. Really nice with that sort of creaminess from the quark. You wouldn't know it was quark. It just feels like a very light white sauce. And and the, bit, the little bit of mozzarella gives it a nice little nice little twist and of course you've got the spinach in there which is pretty darn good for you so all in all a really tasty dish so give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this no bitchy comments I'm not interested just nice comments please um, and yeah enjoy your evening have a lovely time and um, I'll see you next time ta-da